I travel. Travel a lot. I appreciate my life. Travel. Stay in a lot of hotels. I've always got bad news for you. Noticing that hotels always. Oh, unfortunately, sir, uh, the Wi Fi is only available in the lobby area. Oh. Was it all right to masturbate in the lobby area? <laughs> That's what you say to them. Call them out on it. I might use your Wi-Fi in your lobby then, mate. And the websites I visit, that is between me and my browsing cookies. <laughs> your manager can deal with the inevitable negative reviews on TripAdvisor. <laughs> Some stunned couple. Don't, don't get me wrong, uh, the rooms were spacious, the location was great. The staff were a delight, could not fault the food or the facilities, but on the final night, there was a Scottish bloke ripping the head off it in the lobby. <laughs> it was bloody disgusting, nothing soft about it. He had his denims at his ankles, his feet on the coffee table. <laughs> he was using both his hands at one point. <laughs> he was shouting encouragement to himself. He then demanded housekeeping bring him a hoover. It was rather bizarre. <laughs> Two stars. We won't be back. Two stars. <laughs> the Wi-Fi is fucking killing this world, isn't it? The internet. I'm trying to cut loose. I'm trying to cut. I'm trying to stay offline. Driving me fucking nuts. I like technology. I appreciate what the geeks have done in this world. Just don't like the person that I become. As soon as it fails, as soon as it stops working, it sends me fucking money. A big angry primate. I've had too many of these rages. I'm quite a peaceful guy. Fucking laptop stopped searching for wireless networks a few weeks ago, right? I know that sounds a bit trivial, but it's enough to send me into a fucking piece of shit. Fucking, ooh, fucking shouting at it. Because I'm so out of my depth trying to figure it out. I, I, your laptop breaks, you've got two options, Johnny. You can hand it in to where you bought it, or you can phone up the technical support line. What option did you choose, Johnny? In your own time, Johnny. <laughs> well, I phoned up Johnny. You could hand it in. Right, that's, that's part of my problem. I know I need to hand this computer in a fucking the Apple store to speak to Mark with a C with his wee genius t-shirt on. <laughs> Talking about his band. Yeah, we're called Skull Fracture. We're playing the unsigned tent of Tina Park. He's big stupid ear lobs hanging down. <laughs> Gonna put your earrings back in, Mark, and stop putting people off calamari for life. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to phone up. A laptop was no longer searching for wireless networks. And people were calling it a first world problem. That just makes you angrier. I fucking know it's a first world problem. That's why I'm on the phone to the third world trying to get it fucking fixed. <laughs> I phoned up. I'm on the phone. Indonesia, talking to my man, my man Gavin. He starts asking me questions. <laughs> I'm telling Gav the issue. Gav's asking me for my DHCP client ID. I said, I don't know what that means, Gav. Gav told you, click on system preferences, then go to network settings, and then advanced network settings. And he said, in there, you should see an IPVN4 number, and from that, you should be able to see your DHCP client ID. I'm falling, fucking getting excited here. Gav's on to something. <laughs> I said, yes, Gav, I can see a DHCP client ID. And he's asking me if it's configurated or deconfigurated. I said, well, Gav, it appears to be deconfigurated. Gav tells me to click on, I'm already there, Gav. Clicked on configure it, done deal. And he goes, try again. I'm so fucking excited, Gav, to try again. <laughs> Tried again, and the laptop connected to the wireless network. I thank Gav for his time. Then I'm left wondering, my mind is blown. Who the fuck undone that? Like, <laughs> I have never been anywhere near that part of the computer before. So what the fuck happened between connecting to wireless networks and no connecting to... Did I have an MIT frat party in the living room one night? <laughs> Did I have Mark Zuckerberg in the boys' room for a couple of cans? It's got a bit out of hand. I fell asleep at six in the morning. And rather than just shave off my eyebrows or draw a cock and balls on my face, some prankster has logged into my laptop and fucking deconfigurated my DHCP client ID.